The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Discipline as an activity, exercise, or a regimen that develops or improves a person. Discipline is an activity. It is exercise or a regiment that develops or improves a person. The total man. We are talking about the skills. We are talking about the emotions. Develop in emotions. We are talking about the willpower. We are talking about the development of the mind. We are talking about exercising the body. We are talking about the development of the spirit man. Discipline. It's activity or exercise. Or a regiment that develops or improves a person. We have underscored the fact that discipline is not bad at all. Even though at the present time when you are going through discipline, it seems painful, but at the end of the day, it's so desirable. So let's pay attention and get our spirits into the teaching. As you listen to me, hear what God is saying to you. See his face and hear his voice. That you will never be the same again. First Corinthians chapter 9. I'll start from 24. I'll read 24 through to 27. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way. As to get the prize, run in such a way as to get the prize. Who name say one would see Mrika Kaino? One you know, two Mrikano de Nanso Obako, Naunya in Kunim Buono, Sara, and a moon two Mrika, Namunyabi. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown. That will last forever. Obi biara o si agudi ekano o song ni hu eno me njina mu na one day wa ye na we nyabutria say na ye ndi di ensei. They go into strict discipline. Obo mo dia eche wa onso wa no me njina mu strict training. Obo mo dia se obi to me a si si wa hu e wa anwa yirem. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. America No. I strike a blow to my body. And make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. See, brothers and sisters, we need to discipline ourselves to certain rules 
so we can win the prize we need to discipline ourselves to certain rules and regiments so we can make it in life life can be meaningful but, but it depends on how you make it but so far as god is concerned Life can be meaningful to you. The educationists will teach that the first generation of a person's life or the primary years of life is a critical one. They educate that the primary years the first generation or the primary years of a person's life is a period of formation. Now the body is forming. He is also forming ideas. He is the period of grounding. He is grounding himself on the earth. The, the period of learning. Period of learning. Learning from the mother. Learning from the dad. Learning from school. Learning from all other siblings. Learning from enemies, neighbors. Period of learning. It is a period of growth. Holistic growth. The period of understanding. Understanding of what life really is. Knowing the end from the beginning. Now, this explains why, when at that age, young people are that curious and very experimental. They therefore need guidance and support. And parents should be very intentional at this. So parents need to discipline them, shape them in line, in order that they can keep to their target. In order not to go off tangents. In order not for them to stray from the good path. Life can be meaningful. It depends on how you make it. Don't drift away. Don't stray from the good path. Don't miss this period. Because it can cost your future. Genesis chapter 49. Verse 3 and 4. Verse 3 and 4. Genesis 49, 3 and 4. Now, this was when Jacob was about dying. And he decided to prophesy the fate of his children. He was speaking into their future. Blessing them so he could die peacefully. Now, blessing them and prophesying upon them before he leaves the earth. He started from the firstborn. Now, let's listen to what he said. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, the first sign of my strength. Excelling in honor, excelling in power. Rubin, my back in the wall, my poor day, and name me many years as if free. O brosso, a nidium, O brosso, to me. Turbulent as the waters, you will no longer excel, for 
you went up unto your father's bed unto my couch and defile it Reuben, you are my firstborn. The evidence of my strength, excelling in honor and excelling in power. That was the road that he was traveling on. Everybody knew that Reuben was the man. Reuben was the nurse of Cain, excelling in power until one day because he couldn't control his appetite. And his father has also gone to marry a small girl who was a maid. Maybe he was of Reuben's age. Reuben took advantage of her and the man had it. That was done many years ago. And now the man says that you have gone off tangent. You will no longer excel. What a pity. Osha Rubin na bra bo asha se nyina na uhunu se na wo kirim se onu ni abakan na na ho oden ani maniye ne ja ho oden ne maniye asifire no no obro so nim de e na obro so e wo tumi nyina mu na nso won tumi ansha ne ho so bra ne ja e ko ware abaya no gidi se bia na e ye ne se so na nso won tumi ansha ne ho so wei but we have to excel. We have to excel. Life can be meaningful. It depends on how you make it. But so far as God is concerned, life can be meaningful. I want you to bow down your head wherever you are. Let's ponder over this thing that happened to Rubin. Let's pray that God will hold us on the pathway of righteousness so we don't lose our providential way. Shall we pray together? Oh my God. Hold us up, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh God, in the power of thy spirit. Lord God Almighty, let every intention that you have for us come to pass, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus, that we Primary years of a person requires some activity. It requires some exercises. And with that discipline, one cannot achieve it. We need to excel. But it requires some discipline. When one stays on course in the first generation, 
it increases the chances of making it in the second generation. Oh, sure. I want to at once wanna. Oh, shasi ena uti me fa kwantri ne no swa. A boss yes you. I'm out to me cut na pe toso no swa. Why? Because what is achieved in the first generation is applied in the second for the benefit of the society and for the benefit of the person himself. I didn't know this. Ah, the son said, "Asha si ena so uti me a to tu no me ye boow ema di di hono and as I want to at once wa a toso no." See the second generation of a person's life, the educationists will say that it, they are years of service. And the So if you have trained well to be a teacher, now you become a teacher, you serve as a teacher. If you studied as a medical officer, you serve as a medical officer. Now one can be a woodworker because now he's serving, making woods and selling furniture and getting some money. Years of productivity. Yes, of procurement. Yes, of acquisition. Now you are fruitful. So you produce. You produce children. Because these are the periods that the person might have been married. You are more prosperous now. Now you see that things are coming out of you. Because you are now being productive. You are giving back to society. We are saying, oh, you are mind. making the society proud, your, your family proud. But if you didn't take the advantage of the first generation, you can make society proud. Yes, of procurement. And that's a period that you can say, this is my car, I have a house there, that is my son. And but if you didn't take advantage of the first generation, maybe you cannot say that is my car, that's my house. Sometimes people cannot even say that's my husband because all the children she has, there's no man to own her. Men own the children, but no man own her. Tabrenu so ye mra nipa no otumi di nya noma bebre otumi ka se o me dan ni e ma fidi ni na chese otumi nya noma bebre sabrenu so otumi ka se me baba ni me baba ma ni san se nya me abo e mo wa wo ma na otumi mpo e de onsa chere ba ma bi so ana oba bi so se me kunu ana me yiri ni na so wontumi antutu no ma ye e wa sase na wontumi en ka san se mo even in this generation you can't say i've arrived you still need much more discipline because you can lose all that. Empo, I was I went to atwaso and I didn't pay a word to you, mono. We need to make things so because we are strong. So it's not that we don't mean to say we don't mean to make it. So you need discipline to stay on course, to be diligent, to make it victoriously into the next lap, the next phase that is the last lap. And you hear so show also now for quantity, and also send a bear bit to me a qua qua could do the napa a toss on also a sunset and yabete the third generation. And no, and it's a toss on me. This one is usually between sixty years and ninety years. Tabri and any pan with deep bear in free shed you see an echo at that period. You should be descending. Tabri no a bra utimi a se utimi you be a want to see ye pa. Is a period of release. So this third phase of life is a period of release. Now you release inheritance. 
talking about estate and business you release estates you release businesses you cannot still say that I'm the chief executive when you are 80 something years you, you must be releasing to your strength cannot sustain that. It's a period of release. Genesis 25, verse 5. And I'll add the verse 6. Do you understand Abraham left everything he owned. To Isaac. Now Abraham did your Isaac. But while he was still living, he gave gifts to the sons of his concubines and sent them away from his son Isaac to the land of the east. Now Marfu from Ma Abraham who won a dear Bria Abraham Tiasiano or Chenwa dear na Uja won na quang a fini ba Isaac Huma Woko a pue asasano. So while Abraham was still alive, is Abraham and Abraham Dasu Tiasiano. He released Jeja no mem gem eight children. Na o ma ba wachi. He released them all. All of them with something. And he didn't want to die for people to come and share his estate. He did it while he was alive. These things are in the will of God. And this is the plan of God. When God told Hezekiah that Isaiah should go and tell the king Hezekiah that he would die, God said, Put your house in order. So put your house in order. do that whilst you are still alive. Because there are periods where you have to release. We also release blessings and impart godly virtues. And godly legacies. It's a period of blessing. Blessing. Genesis 48, verse 10 and 11. So you have to be releasing blessing when you are an old man. <laughs> but your grandchildren and even your children should come to you as somebody who has some blessing in you to give. Genesis 48, 10 and 11. Now Israel's eyes were failing because of old age. And he could hardly see. So Joseph brought his sons close to him. And his father kissed them and embraced them. Na enyininti Israel eniso eye nukusukusu. Na umuna die ye. Na ode wumpini nincheng na ofe wano eye wong atu. Israel said to Joseph, I never expected to see your face again. And now God has allowed me to see your children too. Israel Katre Yosef said, Men Susu Semen Hunu when Nim Nashe, when Yankopon Ama Menhunu Wo and O Manso. Now, in old age, your heart should be blessing the Lord for what your eyes have seen. The Unina could do penny fear so I said, So I come a shrew ready, what you were near Hunu. He blessed Joseph, verse 15. May the God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked faithfully, the God who has been my shepherd all my life to this day. Now, Ushra Yosef said, Unyankopoa, Mina Nanum Abraham, Ni Isaac, Nantin, and Nimuno, Unyankopoa, or Yenime, Mina Nina Bisi and Nenu. The angel who has Delivered me from all harm. May he bless these boys 
and may they be called by my name and the names of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and may they increase greatly on the earth. I, 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 I the confidence that they had in their God and the God that they serve. May they be blessed in my name. May they be called by my name and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and may they increase greatly on the earth. The period of blessing. It's a period of releasing godly legacies. Verse 20. And he blessed them that day and said, in your name will Israel pronounce this blessing. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. So he put Ephraim ahead of Manasseh. Then Israel said to Joseph, I'm about to die. But God will be with you and take you back to the land of your fathers. Now, a Dano Oshra won't say, Wo na Israel, do be shra say, when you're coupon, and you say Ephraim, and you manasseh. Now, or the Ephraim, the manasseh kind, now Israel catch their yourself say, Share, but you woo. Now, when you be the more cheap, now, or the more son, I come more than anonym assassin. So, the last period of our lives is are also periods of relaxation. The last period of our life is a period of relaxation. It is a period of release. It is also a period of relaxation. Now, when we say to relax, to relax really has to do with a resting, peaceful soul made less tense. When we say to relax, we mean to diminish in force. To abate in effort as in work, you now slow down. Now to bring release in anxiety, the old man is not tense, he's not asking, what am I going to eat tomorrow? What is that? There is no fear because he has lived a good life. And at age 70, age 75, age 80, there should be no any anxiety in your life. It's a period where you slow down and you take life easy. Your soul should rest. But you can make it. You can relax if you discipline yourself in the first and the second generation. If you did not, when people are supposed to relax at 70, you cannot be relaxed. But Genesis 45. From verse 26. They told him, Joseph is still alive. In fact, he is ruler of all Egypt. Jacob was stunned. He did not believe them. Of course, these people, you can't believe them. Now, what catch there, Jacob said, Yosef, that's what he has said. Now, Odim is dream as a sin in our soul. Now, Nitrimu, I hear no, na. If we say, na on you only. But when they told him everything Joseph had said to them, and when he saw the cat Joseph had sent to carry him back, the spirit of their father Jacob. Revived. Now, what can and some are Joseph catch a warning in a chair? No, 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 no
May the Lord bless you. That in your old age, your spirit will revive. Your soul will quicken in your old age. An old man who is always blessing the Lord and smiling. Because he has what to eat. He has a place to lay his head. His children have made it. And so the old man's soul is revived. And Israel said, I'm convinced my son Joseph is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. Now Israel can say, A dozen may buy yourself that's what he has said. Genesis 46, verse 2 and 3. Genesis 46, 2, 3, and 4. It was almost a woman, a decano, a tea, a dear nine in Sia, you move me no cosy and nine. Are you here? You should just thank God that you are young and you are listening to some of these things. So Because I'm sure some old man is listening to me and he's shaking the head. So had I known if I had heard this message earlier in life, I wouldn't have been in this situation. Did he say Many years ago, I think in my first station. I was preaching in a village church. Speaking about the spirit of forgiveness and what it can bring to us. Then whilst I was still preaching, I heard this woman sobbing and then later on she was actually wailing. So they had to literally carry her out of the church house. That's why And so I consulted her later and asked her why was she crying. Because she was still crying even after church. Then she told me a simple story. And then she said, if I knew or so for what you were telling us earlier i wouldn't have left my husband i left my husband in anger lord i sh i wouldn't have done that when in case i must say nana oka i say so for the old country in saint jimmy no can you come in your name free me couldn't change but the yaw pa and the journey free ninja so i said but it is it is not over yet we can do something about it where is your husband then the woman said, "What are you? What are you?" <laughs> and I was like, "And I make can say, me busan say, ah, we na eh eh oh how? See a bit to me a young boy, be say in chemo. And what can say? Oh, we chemo. Now me busan say, now ukunwe. And so what are you? He's married. Had I known? You know yanka. Sometimes the irreparable nature of the past, you can't bring the past back." To repair, it's gone. I do back when one 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 no me chum who ne say. Oh yes, I will sign the above you. I be see see you know. Yeah, na we yung shi ni ye. Genesis forty six, please. We me yung shi. We say home I di kain. Eti ebi ana insi awo. I read two, three, and four. E kain fi mi enuko si enai no. And God spoke to Israel in a vision at night and said, Jacob, Jacob. Yeah, I am, he replied. Oh, so man. verse 18 reads. Indeed. When David had fled and made his escape, he went to Samuel at Ramah and told him all that Saul had done to him. What is he going to do? He's going to consult the old man, tell him about the predicaments he's going through, what Saul is doing against him. Then he and Samuel went to Nioth and stayed there. A period of consultation. Unyina kudu mpeni fiye soa sabre no na dubre ankro for ba uho adibisa ana obi bisi bisa ona oke nkai dun watu na sina David Johnny Free mu Free Johnny Free mu Free yano oko samu ancheng Rama oka di Saulo de aye nuni nina chere yano na oni samu eko kote na na out. Parents need to get children into activities. An exercise. That will help them prepare these children for the church and for the state. Everyone worth its salt 
undergo discipline. Paul told his son Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 7. Have nothing to do with godless myth and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training or exercise is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Verse 13. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of scripture, to preaching and teaching. But I can kind a futo and in church who could see some meba. Do not neglect your gift, which was given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Don't neglect it. To neglect is to leave it lying down fallow because you need to develop it through training and discipline. Be diligent in these matters. Diligence is careful hard work. Work hard and work on it carefully because you want a result. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Work hard so that you'll be able to serve. People will see your progress even beyond that he says that watch your life still watch your life watch your life you still need discipline when you are even successful watch your life and doctrine closely persevere still work hard in them because if you do you save both yourself and your hearers brothers and sisters in the lord Help your children to learn the discipline of fasting and praying. Fasting and praying. <laughs> I went to this house many years back. And we were fasting in, in our church, our local assembly. I went to my presiding at this house. It was just about time for, uh, for us to break the fast. So it was approaching 6 o'clock. But see, but I saw something that uh, really, really marveled me. But anyway, it excited me too. The first girl had her food beside her. And she was sitting in the living room alone watching the clock. Watching. <laughs> 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 I was just praying that you, it, <laughs> the clock was delaying. Just watching it like that. I said, you are not all share, 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 but you see, this girl that I'm talking about, when the father passed, she stood as Deborah in the house. And she's a strong period, a very strong Christian. Don't worry when they have to gaze at the time. You are training them how to fast. Include them in worship. Go to church with them. Let them be part of the family altar. Don't leave them when you are going to church. Go to church with them. Go with them in the evenings. Go with them on Sundays. Go to church with them. Teach them the word of God. 
teach them how to have personal devotions. They have to discipline themselves and then try these exercises. Teach them how to be good students when they are in school. Teach them to be respectful. I learned many things from my father. One of it is yes, sir. And so I don't struggle to say yes, sir. And so when people call me and say yes, sir, some, some of them, they feel bad. If I'm saying yes sir to them, but I learned it from my father. Thank you. I learned it from my father. Teach them to be respectful. Teach them to care for their the body. Teach them to care for their body. Teach them what it means to eat well. Teach them what it means to bath well. Teach them what it means to care for the body. Teach them what it means to care for the soul. For the soul. Teach them what it means to care for the spirit man. Let them know that God is interested in their total being. Teach them to be diligent in developing their life. Proverbs 10, verse 4. Proverbs 10, verse 4. Let us read from the King James Version. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Yes. Proverbs 12, verse 24. Diligence hands will rule, but laziness ends in false labor. Mebusem Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in force labor. In CFO answer a bit depending now any answer a bit at all. I hope that you've gotten something this evening. And may the Lord bless you that this will be nuggets of gold that you will keep and use it to discipline yourself and your children. Life can be meaningful. It depends on how you make it. But so far as God is concerned, life can be meaningful to you. Discipline is activity, exercise, or a regiment that develops or improves a person, God bless you. Okay, she swore and I sent you swore. Aye, I did. Any jumadi be a many panyan koswore. I want a brabunyan.